today, and what a sight to behold. Right on schedule, the height of the annular solar eclipse brought cheers from those who didn't want to miss a minute. When the moon passed directly over the center of the sun, it was an awesome sight across the U.S. At the Strassenburg Planetarium, the crowd was amazed, too. They wore special glasses to get a safe look at the eclipse. They also used indirect viewing techniques like projecting the image on a white board. There were even high-tech telescopes for use by pros and amateurs alike. Uh, it's amazing. Just, just something else. I've never seen anything like it. It's pretty neat because I don't think until I'm a grown up I'll ever see this again. Solar eclipse? Mm -hmm. Yeah, annular eclipse. That's the big event of the century for Rochester. I think we're very lucky yeah. and it's a beautiful sight. And as soon as the eclipse reached its midpoint or annularity, Mm -hmm. like that word. Cheers went up from the crowd at the planetarium. Well, this was sensational for all of us, but especially for kids in school. One school south of Rochester put classes on hold, hoping that clouds would clear. Ray Lovato was in Livonia as students learned that science isn't just found in a book. Again, the one group of course is students with viewers who will go out the science exit doors. Shortly after one o'clock, students at Livonia High School went back to their homerooms. A race against the clock as thick, menacing looking clouds threatened to cover the sun and the eclipse they all wanted to see. Because of the potential eye damage that can occur from looking at the sun without proper protection, no one without a solar filter will be permitted outside. It's really fascinating. Hilke Schultz indirectly traveled halfway around the world to see this. She's a foreign exchange student from Germany. If you don't look through it, you can't really see it. And then you look through this thing and it looks like all weird. It's like all beautiful. Uh, it's great. It's, it's neat. It's like a big circle with, um, with like a light around it. You know, it's always nice to be able to do something or see something for real when we talk about it in class. And so, you know, I've been teaching about annual eclipses for 18 years now. This is the first time I've ever seen one. And I see just like um, a horseshoe-shaped clear line. It's really skinny, and the middle of it is black, completely black. With dark clouds all around, a patch of blue kept students in Livonia from being disappointed. Ray Lovato, News 10. Thinking all day long today, the first decent sunny day in a week, and we get an eclipse. <laughs> well, this was quite an event to see, though, even for yeah. meteorologists. Oh, it was, it was a lot of fun to watch. And meteorologically, it was very interesting as well, because as the solar disks uh, grew very dim, a lot of the cloud cover broke up, especially for those areas near Lake Ontario. That included areas like Penfield, Webster, East Rochester, up towards Greece. Had a beautiful view. Further south, it was more of a problem because of cloud cover. And there were even some showers being noted not far from the Avon area this afternoon at around the time of peak eclipse. This was the path of annularity moving very swiftly northeastly at a speed of about 23 miles a minute. It finally moved off the coast of Portland, Maine, shortly after 1.42 this afternoon. And temperatures, are drop, according to my table here, dropped a good six degrees during the event. We'll have a complete look at our weather forecast coming up in another few more minutes as News 10 continues. All right. Thank you very much.